here in Carton House this morning to get some reaction after the disappointing loss against Australia last weekend and to check the mood in the camp this week with the players looking forward to a huge challenge against New Zealand next Sunday. You know, tough weekend losing the game to Australia. What's the mood been like in the camp this week? Yeah, obviously uh, pretty sombre and, and, and uh, we didn't set out to, to have a performance like that, you know. Um, but the endeavour was there, you know, which is always... Um, in Ireland, you know, the boys always put the effort in, and I think it's just a case of, uh, you know, getting ahead around things. It was a, Australia have been playing together now for a while, and they've been building with, with Ian McKenzie, and uh, some of their systems are in place now. They started off um, their first four or five tests um, were a bit scratchy, and uh, so we're probably similar to them when they when when he came in and Joe's come in, and uh, but I think that uh, we've got to just trust what we're doing, and which I think everyone does, and the coaches do. Joe obviously does, and um, supporters. Um, what were the most disappointing aspects uh, for for you and the management team last week about the game? Um, obviously the set piece. We we lost a few kind of critical ones there. Um, and then obviously there's a few lapses in defence I think with probably some of the things um, and then maybe just I don't know, we lacked that extra bit of fizzle round I thought we just it would, I, don't, I don't like to use the word flat but I think if we can bring a bit more energy to the plate all around that'll probably remedy um, a lot of the things as well um, so hopefully we can bring that this week you know Having been a former All Black and played from um, yourself and obviously being a New Zealand and known New Zealand rugby what, what makes the All Blacks so good? Well I mean they've Obviously, uh, as a young kid, you know, like you, you, this All Blacks is the number one rugby is number one sport. All Blacks is everywhere. The adverts on TV, every channel, it's it's there. It's ingrained in you, and you play it and you love it. And um, but I think they've taken it to a whole new level where they've got a group of players that have been together a while, coaching group that's been together a while, and they've really just grown that culture to a point where um, they just like win they, they're just addicted to winning and addicted to playing well. And uh, and that's a that's a pretty tough machine to play against, you know. Um, and all those boys there, they don't worry about negative media. They just worry about what's going to benefit them to win. You know, that's that's pretty much um, their mindset, I think. I'll take you back to to Christchurch two years ago on the tour. Um, I was there myself. Um, Ireland played fantastic that night. There was a real urgency, a real intensity, a real aggression, a real plan. And, and guys executed that night, uh, very, very unlucky to lose the game in the end. Is that what's required on Sunday to, to, to match and, re, um, you know, take on this all-black team? Yeah, I think you're not going to win the game by kicking the ball to them and defending the whole game, you know. and doing, you, You've got to play against them, you've got to hold on to the ball and take it to them and just keep hammering away and, and, and being smart on what you do. Um, and you saw that in the, when South Africa played them earlier on this year, and in, in that test in Christchurch, it was a real. There was a lot of disappointment amongst the boys, and I think it was really hard to get out for the third test after that because they'd put so much into it. It'd been a long year, um, and we can take some lessons from that. And, and uh, you know, like you say, it was there was some really good intent. We didn't throw the ball away too much. We just played, and uh, it was good. You know, um, didn't quite get the win. Nobody's given Ireland a chance, uh, maybe outside the group. Is there confidence in the belief that if Ireland prepare well, if they show that urgency, cut out the mistakes? I know there's a lot of things we mentioned to, to, to work on, but if they turn up on Sunday and give it a real go, do you think um, there's a confidence in the belief that you can, you can cause an upset or at least match the All Blacks? Yeah, I think that uh, you know all that stuff just comes from getting and knowing your role right, and, and obviously the forwards getting their set piece right, and uh, then the bash can can work their magic, and uh, sometimes that can just you can run out to the field as you know, Quinny, you can run out in the field, the first ten minutes, there it is, you're away laughing, and your confidence and belief just comes from knowing your stuff at training, training hard, train as you play doing everything during the week that's going to contribute to playing well and that'll come. I think if we just go in there and say, right, believe in ourselves, that's probably not going to win us the game um, alone. But if we go in with all those other stuff, all those other boxes ticked, then it'll be hopefully be exciting for the supporters and anyone out there, the sponsors, everyone that uh, Ireland can do a performance that we're really proud of. I sense that there is a, you are sending out a message to people to stay with the, stick with this, to have a little bit of patience that, OK, it hasn't happened so far, but you're confident, Joe's confident, the management, the players, that you know this is work in progress and it will come right uh, sooner rather than later. Well, definitely, and uh, you know it's it's, it's just to say one thing, but to to be confident in what you're saying about it is right. And I, I certainly have the utmost belief that uh, what Joe's got in place will 
suits Ireland, suits the Irish players and suits uh, uh, scoring tries and, and doing all those things. He's very disciplined in what he does. He makes the players disciplined and I think that's a good thing. You don't want to give away penalties but also disciplined in, in, in what they do. And um, I'm excited for Ireland and Irish rugby and, and if it doesn't happen this weekend, hopefully there'll be, I believe there'll be some good moments that people can be proud of the green jersey, you know. Yeah, I know what it's like, weeks like this, they're a tough week for management and players, so thanks for chatting to me, Greg, and good luck on Sunday, and uh, we'll all be behind you. Thanks, Quinny, I'm hoping you're in all green this week too, mate, that'd be good. Absolutely. That is obviously a fair bit of disappointment, I think um, we didn't do ourselves justice, and uh, we're, we're very disappointed to concede four tries like we did. It's something that um, you know, it's unacceptable in a green jersey, and you know it's something that we're going to have to rectify. Um, but I think you know at stages we played some good rugby. We got a bit of continuity, and unfortunately, just um, you know to not really to get over the line, to not put them under that bit of pressure, to get ourselves back into contention just for half time and to let it go. You know, there's a lot of stuff we need to work on. There's plenty of experience in the Irish camp as well. Um, you know, plenty of leaders who who can come out and kind of, uh, you know, speak about positives and looking forward, trying to get things back on track, isn't there? Yeah, we have uh, any amount of leaders within this team. You know, we have players who have been in the Irish jersey or, you know, for their provinces and have been in tough situations before. It's about coming back and, um, you know, putting the pride back in the jersey again, and that's something that we've talked about. Um, we want to really go out there and have a massive performance this weekend. We know it's going to be a full house. Um, and the crowd will be, everybody will be behind us. It's, it's about creating some history and um, what a great opportunity for us. It's a, it's a huge challenge. Is this week about really focusing on yourselves and, and maybe not looking so much at the All Blacks, just trying to get your own game right? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hard to say that, yeah. Obviously we want to get our own game right. We need to work on a lot of different areas of the game, but at the end of the day, the All Blacks are the best team in the world. They haven't lost this year, so you know we need to look at them. We need to look at what they're good at. And, you know, they have so many strengths and threats throughout the, throughout the pitch. Um, but you know it's going to be something we will concentrate on them. We'll look at what, uh, what we want to do against them, areas that where we think we can attack them. But at the end of the day, as you say, yeah, it comes down to what us doing our job right as well. How do you approach that as a player? There's obviously a, um, you know, a bit of a fear factor. They're a pretty daunting team to play against. You know, from a confidence point of view, you know, do you believe you can go out and get that performance? I think there's a huge excitement about it. That you know, it's something that no Irish team has ever done. Um, you know, no Irish ever team has ever beaten the All Blacks. And um, we've come close on many occasions. And you know, I've been on part of teams where we have been close, and it's been down to one one score where we've made one small mistake and they capitalise on it. So. You know, it's a, a huge opportunity for us, and I think within the team, we're obviously feel a bit let down by the weekend. But so far, training um, and the last couple of weeks, we've been very positive with Joe and the new management coming in. Everybody's excited about it, and I think this is a great opportunity for us to go up there and, and you know, maybe um, <laughs> create a bit of history. Because there's a huge amount of work and effort that goes in from the players behind the scenes as well, isn't it, to try and try and get the results right? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the training since uh, Joe has come in has been top notch. Um, every the enthusiasm and the work rate out everybody, you know, we're really enjoying training. Um, and unfortunately, we just didn't do ourselves justice at the weekend. You know, we conceded a couple of really soft tries, um, and, and for not, us not to score is very frustrating. Um, and, and we can obviously sense the frustration from the public too. But I think that you know we're working hard. We're going to put it right, and this is a great opportunity this weekend for us to do it. Okay, great, Tommy. Thanks for joining me, and the best of luck Good on man, Sunday. Thank you.